there is no perfect headlamp, but there is a perfect headlamp for every purpose. Hey guys, MJ here from Night Council Airport. Today I'm gonna show you two critical mistakes that many clients are making and the three things that you need to always consider to buy the right headlamp for your use. Sounds good? Alright, let's go. So last year I had this angry customer. He brought two police officers to one of our retail shops. He came in, he banged the table and he wanted a refund. But the shop had a no refund policy, right? So he said our headlamps were a scam and he wanted to make a police report. So then the shop called me to sort this mess out, right? So eventually I met with the guy and I found out why he was so upset. He said he had a colleague that had a NU32 headlamp that's really bright and it could last for 10 hours, which was true. The NU32 can run for 17 hours on 190 lumens. So he was so amazed that he went to the shop to buy one. But instead of you know buying the same any 32 model, he asked for the brightest model. The shop owner, without questioning further, sold him the HC65, right? This this model here, which at the time was the brightest headlamp at 1,000 lumens. So he went to work expecting it to last 10 hours, but at 1,000 lumens, it will only last one hour, as mentioned in the NC charts if you look closely. Right, so around 45 minutes into his work, of course, his headlamp died and he had to borrow someone else's light for the remaining 9 hours. So that's where he got so frustrated because there was a mismatch of expectation, right? He wanted this to last 10 hours but 45 minutes and he's dead, you know, this is a scam headlamp. So guys, that is the first mistake people make when it comes to buying headlamps. Not understanding the balance between brightness and runtime. Okay, the brighter the light, the shorter the runtime. You know, then I explained to him that you could run it at a lower brightness to get more runtime, right? You, you can toggle this down to instead of 1000 lumens, you can run it at 500 plus, 400, 200. But then he said, no, 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 I need it bright so that I can see far. If I run it at lower brightness, I can't see far, right? So that is the second mistake people make using the wrong beam type for their needs. The HC65 is a flat beam. Okay, so it needs 1,000 lumens to reach 1,100 meters, which shows here. Okay, compared to the NU32 that his friend was using, which is a spot beam, it only needs 550 lumens to reach 125 meters. All right, you see the difference? Did you catch the difference? 1,000 lumens to reach 110 meters, 500 lumens to reach 125 meters. What? So after he realized this, he walked away happy with two sets of NU32 and all was good, okay? So now you know the brightest is not the best. There is, however, a best headlamp for every purpose. And the way you decide that is by looking at three things, right? The brightness, runtime, and beam type. So beam type means either wide flat, you know, something like this, or long distance spotlight, okay? Something like this. So generally, the bigger the reflector, like this, the longer the beam distance, okay? So you can compare across a range of uh, lights. This is the smallest one, the okay, NU25. And you can see the reflector, this is reflector gets bigger and bigger. The HC70, okay, you can see it get bigger. And then the biggest, and of course longest distance light is the EH1, right? Look at the size of this reflector, okay? So generally, the bigger the reflector, the more spot, spotlight and long distance the beam is. Then here's an example of how the different kinds of beams look like. So for example, the EH1, this is a spotlight beam. So it's long distance. So when you turn it on, you can see it's a really tight hot spot here. So this is the beam that goes far. Surrounding spill beam is helps with your peripheral view, right? Then if you compare it with a flat beam, like the NU35, so let's turn this on there, okay? You see the difference? There is no uh, spot at all. This is all flat, okay? Very smooth flat beam. Again, there yeah, so the spotlight. Spot beam comes on. Okay, so night call has headlamps that has varying degrees of how tight the spot is all the way to complete flat. Okay, so another example would be so this is a, it's a good mix. This is an all spotlight. This is a medium, and this is a full flat. All right, you see the difference. See the the difference in uh, beam types. All right. So get the right beam for your use, okay? So headlamps tend to be designed with flat lights that match your uh, peripheral vision, right? It's about 110 degrees, right? So because the majority of people wear headlamps to free both hands to work on something in front of them. So they don't need a headlamp to see far, right? Usually it's here and then you work on something at uh, arm's length, for example, okay? 
don't need to really see far. The only group that needs to see far with headlamps are the uh, cave explorers, the rescue climbers, the tunnel maintenance guys, you know, that kind of work. Alright, next is brightness and runtime. So these two are connected. The brighter the light, the bigger the battery needs and the heavier it, be it becomes, okay? Take the HC35 for example, this is the brightest headlamp at uh, 2700 lumens. So I could design it to use an IMR battery like this, you know, and, and then reduce the weight and size so it only looks like this. But then it will only last maybe five minutes. So then what's the point, right? So if you look on the market today, right, they really are lights designed like this. You know, they, they put a super bright LED and a super small battery just to claim the title of smallest and brightest. But then they hide the fact that it only lasts three minutes. Okay, so then that's why the AC35 uses bigger batteries like this, the 21700 batteries for decent run time. Okay, so this, but this increases the weight. So having this on your head for, let's say, 10 hours straight, right, it's going to put a strain on your neck. So there are models that try and work around this problem by having the battery pack elsewhere. So for example, this is the HC40, you know, you wear it like this, you put this in the front, all right, then the battery pack goes around to the back of your helmet. You know, this kind of uh, setup. Okay, then there's also the HC70 with an external battery pack, right? This one clips onto your belt and then you run the cable up to your headlamp like this. But, you know, both designs, as you can see, are a bit clunky, you know, and then it's, it's not very efficient, so they have both been discontinued already. So you see, you can't have uh, the best of everything. There's always a give and take going on. The good thing is Nightcore has the best headlamp for every scenario. Say I want the lightest with long run time. Go with the NU17 here. Okay, so here I sacrifice uh, brightness for run time and weight. This only does 130 lumens, but it lasts 6 hours. Okay, it's super light. Look at how small it is, perfect for running. You almost can't feel this when you wear it because it's so light, right? So if, if I want the brightest light with no compromise, right, then you go for the HC35 headlamp, right? 2700 lumens. So in this light, you will sacrifice weight and size because, you know, <laughs> look at the difference, right? So let's say I want the longest runtime with still useful brightness, then go for the new NU35, right? This just came in. This is a very decent uh, 480 lumens, it's still very useful but because it can take three different power source, you can push it to an insane 77 hours at 210 lumens. That's three days straight without turning off your headlamp. This is almost ridiculous, okay? Compared to every other lamp on the market, this is the longest run time. So when you shop for a headlamp, really look at the NC chart, okay? Look at the brightness around 200 lumens Okay, then see if the runtime is suitable for your needs. Then look at how bright it goes and then all other features. So why 200 lumens, right? Because in a dark environment, that's the most comfortable brightness while working in the arm's length. So I'm going to have this at, say this, this is 200 lumens. So if I have it at arm's length, something like this. So when I look at my hands, right, it's not glaring, it's comfortable. So over a long periods of time, when you're doing detailed work, you know, it's not uh, tiring to your eyes. Okay, if I have it, let's say brighter, you know, you're gonna have glare, you know, when you look at something this close over long time, you're gonna squint and then you have glare, right? So, but if you have it lower, for example, this is like one lumen, you you can't see, you need to squint and you go nearer then, you know, all kinds of uh, neck problems come on. So always start with 200 lumens, that's perfect for arm slang work. And then once you're done with arm slang, you can, you know, bump up the brightness for uh, navigation around looking around, you know, room, distance kind of work, okay? So that's basically it. Now you know the three things you need to look for when buying a headlamp. First is brightness, run time, and beam type. And when comparing headlamps, always start with the NC chart. Look at 200 lumens, look at run time, then move beyond that, okay? So if you've been looking for a headlamp, Nightcore has one for every kind of scenario. And now that you know what to look for, it's easy for you to get the right one, okay? So the right headlamp could be life and death when it comes to critical operations. You know, don't, don't be like the angry customer I told you about. It's not his fault because he didn't know what he didn't know, right? No one taught him how to choose what to look at. But now you know, right? So buying lights based on logical needs, you know, advise your friends, don't fall for marketing fluff. Okay, so these headlamps are all in stock at uh, nightcallites.com, depends on what you need, you know, uh, 
I, I've shown you how to choose already. So if you are frustrated with the current headlamp, this is the best time to get a new set with your newfound knowledge. Okay, so if you need to buy in bulk for your organization, just contact me directly. I'll be able to work out a deal for you. Okay, so once your order is placed, we'll courier everything to your door within a couple of days. Links to all, all the different headlamps shown here are in the description below. As usual, every headlamp comes with a 60-day money-back guarantee and fast free 5-year warranty. So there's no risk at all. So if you, you buy a headlamp and you feel like it is the wrong beam type, you no, know, I want a longer beam type or longer run time, just send everything back for a full refund or I can exchange another suit more suitable headlamp for you. Okay? So that's it. If you'd like to see more videos like this where we help you choose you know, the best lights for your work or adventures, subscribe below and I'll see you on the next video. That's it, MJ signing out.